Hello YouTube, this is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers and today we got an awesome backpack to review. This is by Ortlieb, it's the commuter day pack. It's in their urban line, which means that it looks a little more sophisticated than some of the other backpacks that they make. So Ortlieb, uh, they're based out of Germany and they make their stuff in Germany, which is cool, German made. Uh, rather than China, love European products, they, especially in cycling. Uh, they just seem to know how to make really good products. So uh, we're going to be taking a look at that. So a little backstory into this backpack and why I have it today. Actually, so there's a store here in Austin called Mellow Johnny's, and for those that don't know, uh, Lance Armstrong is one of the owners of that, and. I saw this bag hanging up in their pannier section, backpack section. I was like checking it out and I was like, wow, that's cool. I hadn't seen a backpack that looks like this. Um, so they have this little, little rubber bumpers on the back. And so obviously what these do is they allow a little bit of air and it keeps the backpack off uh, your back and it's actually super comfortable. But the other thing that I noticed, which I thought was pretty interesting, was the actual backpack straps were pretty pliable. They weren't your like traditional backpack strap where it's like really thick material. Um, it just, I don't know, I, I just really liked the look of this bag. So anyway, uh, got back home, took a few pictures of it, I think when I was at Mello Johnny's. Uh, got back home and I contacted Ortlieb and I was like, hey, could you send out this backpack and maybe some panniers and maybe some other stuff. Uh, two weeks later, I had this big shipment of panniers and backpacks and stuff like that from Warleap. So I'm super cool company. Thank you so much for sending this out. So uh, to go around the backpack here. Um, so the straps, again, super pliable. And the, you don't have uh, shoulder adjustments at the top here. But since the backpack or the straps are so uh, pliable, it, they just seem to conform to your body, which is really nice. And then across the chest, they have a chest strap. And then they also have down here a waist strap. It's not very big. Sometimes with the backpacks, you have a wider waist strap. So if you have a lot of uh, stuff in your bag, um, the waist strap, um, having a wider one is actually more comfortable. Um, with this one though, the way this backpack's designed, I wouldn't carry a ton of stuff and I'll go over some of the things that I did carry with it. Um, but all in all, I just, I, I just like this backpack. So it comes with a side pocket here and has uh, weather proofing strips on the side, but Ortlieb said that the pocket here is not waterproof. They do have two little channels here, so if water does get into the pocket, it can drain out through these channels. Um, but it's just a zippered uh, pocket, and you can put things like keys, or you can put a phone or something like that in there, which is nice. Um, and then the main compartment of the bag, and this is a roll top backpack, uh, so it means you just sort of roll it down. But anyway, inside the bag, uh, they have a little padded area and that padded area is actually removable and so you can remove that if you want to although um, unless you get a lot of dirt and gunk in the bag i wouldn't remove it i would just keep it in there and so it'll allow you to put like a small computer or an ipad or something like that in there um, and it does have a zippered section as well so you can put your keys your phone uh, and other items uh, that you especially if it's raining that you don't want to get wet um, you can put that all in there. So Ortlieb is definitely known for having waterproof bags. A lot of commuters out there, Europe, everywhere, you know, Europe, it rains all the time, at least in Germany. Uh, so having a waterproof bag is like essential. And so with this, as long as you just roll it down properly, um, you're not going to have any water getting in here and the material is waterproof. And then on the bottom, they have a little bit more rugged material. And again, you could set this bag down and it's not gonna get wet or anything, the contents. Um, so the way I use this bag is if I'm biking and I don't wanna use a pannier, uh, but I wanna have a backpack, uh, this is great. It's super light, 720 grams. Uh, so it's, it's a nice, nice little setup. 
the other cool thing is if you're traveling and you wanted to have a backpack, this lays really flat so it doesn't take up a lot of room. You could also, if you needed to, you could roll it. Uh, that's another option as far as how you could travel with it. Then on the back here, they have these little uh, loops or hoops and those are for, say you have a U-lock or something like that, you could put the U-lock in there. Um, also, if you have like a flashing light, you could put that on the bag. I think probably one thing would have been cool is if they had like reflective material maybe or a line of reflective material going down the back. That would be nice just in case you didn't have one of these. Since it is made for uh, biking, they do have some piping on the front here that's reflective, but um, you know, when you have the bag on, that's for uncommon uh, cars that are coming at you. But uh, when you have the bag in the back, they do have this section that's reflective, but it's pretty small. Um, so I don't know, I would think that would be at least one thing that I would change with this bag. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's a pretty perfect bag for me. Um, if, if you, uh, like, for instance, I was out uh, running this morning, so I park about uh, maybe a half mile from this running store um, that I run at, and I loaded this bag up with a towel, change of clothes, my phone, keys, uh, I think I had a camera in here as well, and it was raining this morning. Um, so I just rolled it up and I didn't have to worry about any of that stuff getting wet, uh, so it was, it was just perfect. And I actually, um, the temperature was gonna drop like 10 degrees, uh, it started out actually sort of warm and then it got colder uh, by the end of the run. And so I actually had a jacket in here as well and it, it just worked out perfectly for me. Um, so that's why I would use this bag. Um, like with some of the other, you know, I could use another backpack. I just, I don't know, something about this backpack I really, really like. I just like the design. I like the shoulder straps. They feel really comfortable um, even when you have a bunch of stuff in here. So let me just do that real quick. So I'm going to put the bag on. So with this backpack, you don't have a lot of adjustability. You just sort of have these cinch straps and you just pull them down, just like a lot of other backpacks do. But the thing is, the straps on here are just, they're really comfortable. And then you have these chest straps so you can, if you wanted to, tighten the chest strap. And I have it actually set a little bit low there, but you can move these as well if you need to. Um, and then when you have your bike helmet on, so if I'm out there and I'm cycling with this, and this is a, a Smith Trace helmet, by the way. Love this helmet. Smith sent this out to us to check out. Um, but the thing is, when you are moving your head around, the, the helmet's not hitting the back of the backpack or the top of the backpack at all. Uh, a lot of times when I'm out there cycling, if I have a different backpack on, um, I'm constantly bumping up against the top of the backpack, which is super annoying. And sometimes it sticks up so far that you can't even move your head back. So um, I like the, how they thought about this. I'm sure their engineers, when they were designing this, had it sit a little bit lower on the back so that if you are riding um, a bike with this, you, you're not gonna hit it. Um, so I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, but all in all, um, absolutely like, actually, absolutely love this bag. I think it's a cool backpack. This is definitely gonna be one backpack that I'm gonna be using on a pretty regular basis, at least once a week, maybe twice a week, uh, especially like when I'm going running or something like that and I wanna have my stuff with me uh, and not have to worry about it getting wet. Um, but that's about it. Oh, uh, I did have a video on another Ortley product, so I'll put the link to the video up top there. It was on a Pannier. Um, it's another Urban Line uh, product that, that Ortley makes, so you could definitely check that out. Also, check out GearMasters.com. That's a website I have that's associated with uh, GearMasters' YouTube channel. And definitely hit the subscribe button because that does help me get in products. Uh, and when I talk to manufacturers and things like that, they always are like, how many subscribers do you have? How many views on your website? So please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me out. Also, I'll put some links in the description. So if you see something you like here, click on the link and you can buy it on Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything uh, other than uh, just clicking on the link and paying for whatever the price of the product. There's no extra cost or anything like that. 
So anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.